December the 11th, 2021, was the day that a cruel, crushing blow was delivered to my heart. You guys watching me, you're my tribe, you're my family. I won't lie to you, it hit me. It was the day that it literally looked like my world came crashing down. Because it was a day that it was confirmed that in spite of my best efforts, in spite of everything that I have tried to do to, on the field, off the field, that I will eventually not be an official part of the Africa Cup of Nations in Cameroon this year. And that hit me back. I worked hard to be in this tournament. I did my work as a scout and as an assistant coach, trying to be the best because I knew that this was the year I could finally wear a gold winner's medal around my neck as an African champion because I know we had the team that could do it. Administratively, I was involved planning the hotel with the members of the Nigeria Football Federation, planning the hotel, planning our training time, match times, everything, the logistics. We even had a couple of Zoom meetings on CAF where I represented Nigeria. But, boom, December the 11th, the head coach of Nigeria was sacked. I, as the first assistant, for some reason, had to go with him. That hurt. And I tell you what, it took me a week plus to come to terms with it. Sat down, moped around, reflected, even took a long weekend break to London. London is only an hour and a bit from me, but I felt the need to go somewhere and shut myself away for a bit. So I was away. Then I came back. And, you know, like I said in my first video on here, if you remember, it's been a while now, where I said that because I couldn't make it as a football player, I was determined to still stay in football. I felt that resolve in me that time in December. That the fact that I couldn't go to the AFCON, as a part of the Nigerian team, doesn't mean I won't be a part of the AFCON. I can make myself a part of the AFCON. So I got to work. No point feeling sorry for myself. Started writing and researching. Seems to be my release, writing and researching. And a month, literally a month after I came back from that long trip, in spite of the break, the Christmas break and that, I did it. I wrote a book, and here it is. A book on the AFCON, Africa Cup of Nations, Heroes and Legends of the Game. From 1957 to date. And I'm proud of myself. And I think you should be of me as well. It was a lot of work. It's not an encyclopedia, but I did it. Approved by publishers, approved by Amazon, approved by everyone. And it's here. You can be the same. You make a resolve on destination where you want to be in life. Work towards it. Tweak it a bit and be a bit flexible in case it doesn't work out. But remain focused and you'll achieve your aim and you can still be a winner. I did it and I'm proud of myself. I set a date of the 23rd of January for it to be out. I received my first copies on the 23rd of January, before midday. Make a resolve. Be determined in your heart, and you can make it. Now, how do you support me? Buy my book. Please. It's on Amazon.co.uk, if you're based in the UK. It's on Amazon.com worldwide. 
and it's also on my, the e version of it is also on my website, tundetalks.com. Thank you to everyone who helped, Joey Adams in particular, well done. But in the meantime, let's wallow in the beauty of the fact that I did it. Now let me go and uh, enjoy my book.